in the mist and morning fog, hey. Yeah. Oh, 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 we're back on. Oh, mist and fog this morning. Mild too, 70 degrees outside. The mist is enough to make things a little damp and slick on the roads, although I wouldn't say it's like, you know, rain falling. The fog is yielding mist, which is enough to uh, not only make the roads slick, but you'll need the wipers uh, on the you know, way into work or school. You can even see some of that moisture on the road being reflected by the headlights there. We have a southeast wind, eight miles per hour. You see that uh, many spots reporting vision down to under one mile here. Uh, that stretches from Kingsville through Alice, Orange Grove, and then Three Rivers, Beeville area. Uh, all reporting that reduction in vision. Rockport, Fulton, you're included in that as well. So if you're traveling up to San Antonio this morning, or anywhere inland for that matter. Uh, just be aware that there are going to be pockets of dense fog, so you'll need to uh, take note of that and be aware of it as you're traveling around. That should be gone by the nine o'clock hour or so. Winds are calm right now, but as we head into the late morning, these are going to pick up. That's going to disperse the fog and help warm temperatures that are already pretty mild, mid to upper 60s to around 70 out the door this morning. Uh, we do have the cloud coverage and the fog in place. We have this humid southeasterly flow coming in from the Gulf of Mexico. That's going to, again, you know, pump the atmosphere chock full of humidity here as we work into the weekend. And this weekend we are monitoring a Pacific storm system that's approaching California this morning. This is going to be what sends a weak cold front down into central and south Texas, but it's going to stall here. It's not going to be one of these that pushes through. Uh, so with this being a weak one, the rain chances are going to stay to the north and east of us. There's going to be some strong to severe thunderstorms in the central plains and southeastern part of the country. That's going to stay well to the north of here. This front, though, is going to stall and become stationary into Sunday. And there are going to be some showers focused along this boundary wherever it sets up. So uh, right now it looks like the farther north you are, like closer to San Antonio, the I-10 corridor, that's where the better shot for rain will be. The farther south you get, uh, the lower the rain chances. We may catch an isolated one here, but uh, you know, I wouldn't say that Sunday is going to be a rain out. It's just going to be cloudy and somewhat warm here over the weekend. Today, mist and fog with mid to upper 60s to around 70. The winds do pick up this afternoon. Futurecast wants to throw in a few showers. I don't think we'll see that because the winds will be uh, so breezy, but temperatures do top out in the low 80s and upper 70s across the area uh, and mostly cloudy skies expected for today. Tomorrow morning, I don't think we have as much fog development. The winds are going to stay breezy overnight. Temperatures will settle in the upper 60s to around 70. And here's our front stalling out just north of here. Temperatures will still hit the low 80s here Saturday afternoon. Today, 81 with some morning mist and fog, then warm and breezy this afternoon. Southeast wind 12 to 25 miles per hour. That's going to be a noticeable change in our weather forecast here for today. Upper 60s tonight, cloudy, mild, humid. The southeast winds should keep some of that fog uh, from developing, but we may have some patchy areas of it near 80 both Saturday and Sunday. A stray shower possible Sunday, slightly better of a chance for rain, but just isolated activity Monday. And then we'll keep our eyes peeled for another weak front that may be in the forecast here come the middle of next week. John Thomas.